Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So the other day I made a video with Chroma One Radiance and I wasn't super thrilled with my results. I wasn't able to get what I wanted. I found that it was worse than almost every other model. But when I used the prompts from the Comfy UI announcement page, uh, the examples they gave on how they generated their images, the images were fantastic. I couldn't stop thinking about the depth, um, the colors, just just the way it looked. I I really like Chroma One. So I spent some time thinking about how I could improve my results. I did some digging on Reddit, reading some other people's stories, and it looks like prompt is the big thing it comes down to. The language you use, how you structure it. I know that's the case with almost all models, but some are more forgiving. I'm finding with Chroma One Radiance, if you use a certain prompt structure, you're actually able to get some decent results. So if you look on the screen now, I'm sure you have been, it's been the same shot since I started talking. <laughs> this is just the default Chroma One Radiance workflow. What I did in another tab is, we took ChatGPT and I actually fed it all the example prompts from Chroma Radiance. So it could get an idea of what Chroma Radiance is actually looking for in a prompt. And then I said, once you understand this, I'm going to give you an idea and then I want you to structure the prompt for me. So that's kind of how I'm doing it. I mean, it's pretty layman. It's a simple idea. Uh, anyone can do it. If you have ChatGPT or Gemini or Grok or whatever LLM you're using, you can try that. So let's go through a couple of examples here and you can let me know, you know, if I'm getting better results than the previous video or if I still have more work to do. Also, please send me a message on Patreon if you have any tips for additional steps or filters or samplers or anything else I should be using with Chroma One. I'm really curious how to get the best results from this model. Okay, so I got an action movie prompt here about a spy running away from an exploding building. So let's try that on the fly. No cherry picking, you know how we do it. Let's see, let's see how this goes. Okay, we got our first result. This was from the prompt that we took from ChatGPT. This looks pretty good. Um, I'm still not completely satisfied with what it's punching out, but it looks a lot better than it did before. The face actually has some consistency to it. The lighting looks good. There's no distorted body parts, really. I mean, we could we could uh, take, take umbrage with his hand here if we wanted to, but you know, it's it's pretty good. Let's run that one more time. So I don't cherry pick. We're gonna go one more time on the fly here. I'll see you in the future. Okay, here's another one. Yeah, so it's not perfect, but it's definitely a step forward. So this chat GPT prompt and little method methodology that I came up with actually works quite well by the looks of it. I'm sure there's further tweaking that we can do, but let's go back to chat GPT and let's generate another one, see how it goes. So what should we do here? How about, so what I'm hoping for here is going to be kind of a street photography photo. You'll see a woman standing outside an office building looking down at her phone. And, you know, it's a candid photo that someone took, for example. Let's see what it does. Okay. Let's give that a try. We'll copy that. Bring it over to Chroma. All right, let's try this. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. Something that I'm noticing with Chroma is the lighting is really dramatic and, and good compared to other models, at least in my opinion. Um, this is pretty good. This is not exactly what I was hoping for, but that's okay. Um, let's give it one more run of the same prompt. Okay, we got another one here. Again, the lighting looks great. I love the shallow depth of field. I do find it struggling with the face a little bit. If you look at the edges of her nose and mouth and the eyes, something's a little bit off. It's not too bad. Um, I haven't actually played with any Loras for uh, Chroma, so maybe that would help a little bit as well. Maybe I should start training some. I just wanted to show you that little trick I came up with. It's not fully fleshed out yet, uh, but I'd love to see what you guys are coming up with and trying to tackle Chroma One Radiance. All right, have a good day, guys.